this video, I will explain to you how you can handle various types of maps. So, what are the uh, type of maps you can uh, manipulate? Uh, the first type is the map. So, it's a map like you can have. Uh, typically, uh, it's just drawn. Then, you have a satellite map. Okay, and then it means that you just have a picture from a satellite, so it's an, uh, an overview from uh, the sky. And finally, you have hybrid, uh, that means that you have the satellite view added with some uh, textual information that shows you uh, where you are or that gives you a few uh, information about uh, the uh, location, etc. Uh, etc. Et of course, if this information is available. So, the idea is to manipulate these types of maps. To change the type of map, uh, it's quite easy because you have an attribute that is called map type. It's located in uh, MK map view, and this map type is of type MK map type. And you have basically three main values. In fact, you have more, but we will deal with these in a further video. That are standard, and then you have a map. That is satellite, and then you have a satellite map. Or hybrid, which is then a hybrid map. And these are the keywords in Objective-C. Let us consider, as an example, an extension of the previous example that was called Where Am I? So it's Where Am I 2, where we will deal with several types of maps. So it's exactly uh, the same app that uh, you had previously, but you see that now you can change the type of map. So you can set up a satellite view, you can set up an hybrid view, and apart this, it works exactly uh, the same. Okay, I can still enlarge, uh, so you see uh, where we are recording this video. It's where the pin is in our campus. Uh, you can have a look or whatever. Uh, you can uh, delete the information and you can come back to a regular uh, map. Okay, and apart these aspects, all other functions of uh, the previous application still remains, of course. So uh, the source based on the previous version of the example, will not change that much. An annotation does not change at all. The view controller does not change at all. But there are some changes on my view. And we will just deal with the changes in my view. So I put in small what does not change. And I let in large characters what change. The first thing you have is uh, the declaration of a map mode, okay, uh, that is a UI segmented control you will put on top of the MK map view. And uh, you declare three uh, elements inside this UI segmented control. Then uh, you have to set up this map mode and to insert it in the hierarchy of views. Okay, that's the main changes in terms of local variable declarations and in terms of init function. Then you have associated to this UI segmented control, you have associated this function and according to the changes performed on uh, the uh, map, you will just change the attribute map type. Okay? And of course you have to set up in the uh, draw in format uh, method, you have to set up uh, this uh, UI segmented control at an appropriate position. That's all. Okay, no more changes from the previous example. So this enrichment is finally quite limited in terms of effort. So as a conclusion, you see that it's quite easy it's especially easy when you compare that to the management of pins in maps, okay? And so your apps are now ready to explore the world, either in satellite mode, either in map mode, normal map mode, or in hybrid mode. Thank you for your attention. See you later.